Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Mike Azevedo and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit the, about the process of this painting and about the process of painting overall for me. So the, the things that when I started out I used to copy a lot of artists, I used to like watch their videos online and then try to do it the same way. So if an artist would do like blobs of color, I would just go there and just do blobs of color as well. And that's that wasn't helping at all because I was trying to copy the end result and not the thought process behind it. I was not understanding what goes behind it. So I was just trying to mimic their style. It was not good enough. So when I started to, to understand that process behind it and the idea of having a clear focus in your process, I started to get much better, way faster. And I think that goes a lot with uh, understanding that painting has a lot of different stages, like you're dealing with structure, you're dealing with anatomy, gesture, and then light, color, and then you're trying to build on top of that. Like when you're starting out, it's very easy, especially if you're a digital painter, to just skip some steps and then go forward and go back again and just ignore steps because there, there are not really they're not really there in digital painting especially because uh, you can do whatever you want. It's you can go back and forth and it's really free. So it harms you in a certain way because you don't have that sense of, okay, I really need to think about the stage that I'm going right now and what I'm doing. So you can see that at this stage, I started with a few lines on this image and re really simple lines just to indicate direction of things and where are they, they are going. And then I used a, a hard light mode on my brush uh, and I used a, sort of like a, a orange color. So I would just do the shadows at, the, at once. You can see that I started to merge a few of the steps of the painting, like I started to do certain light and color at the same time. I was not going for a black and white and then to color. And that's because uh, with a lot of practice, when you try to understand the process a lot of times and when you do the process straightforward a lot of times, you can start merging the steps some uh, some of the, th the steps and it's it gets easier to do more things at once so you can see that i started to merge a few steps like i'm doing shadows and structure and i'm doing some other things at once but even that uh comes with a lot of practice and comes with a lot of time and uh, I don't succeed every time I do this. A lot of the times actually I fail because I, I mix the process too much. So you can see that I'm going with a very simple exploratory uh, stage right now. You can see that uh, hands are very loose, the arms, the folds on the, the, the sleeves are very loose and uh, everything is loose. I'm working over on the image and you can see that I didn't zoom in at all right now. I was just doing the overall painting uh, until I started to understand the specific parts. So at this stage, good synthesis is very important to understanding how a nose is, how the light is, and understanding especially what's your idea behind it. My idea for this painting was smoke. I got a random world and, and then I just started to think about, oh, so how can I say this? How can I say it in a cool way? So I started remembering like Lord of the Rings and cool movies that have like cool uh, <laughs> Hobbit kind of characters smoking and then just chilling. It's, it, I thought it was pretty cool to, to d portray a scene like that. So I started to focus only on that. It's very important that you know what you're going to say. It's exactly like when you're trying to communicate something uh, to someone, when you're trying to say something, uh, you're really, it's re really important that you have a clear idea of what you're going to say and how you're going to say it because the viewer, the, the listener has to understand what you're going for, right? It's the same about painting. You have to understand what's your focus, what's your synthesis, uh, what's your idea so you can synthesize it better, right? It's the same idea because I, I deal with painting as a form of visual communication and I really think about it as a form of saying things to other people, right? Uh, so at this stage you can see that I have a lot of more detail but I still didn't zoom in. I started to focus now on the, especially the eyes which are my focal points. I wanted to give sort of like a smart ass <laughs> uh, eyes for him. So you can see that uh, I started to just 
have a very old face for him and a very simple read on the composition. He doesn't have many things. You can see that I started to change my mind now. I started to make the image a little bit bigger so I would add more smoke so we would be like clearer to the viewer uh, what this image is about. So it's about like him smoking and show the pipe, a, a cool pipe and show that he just started to to do that and that's the main focus for this one, right? Uh, I started to use very geometrical shadows as well. You can see that I a lot of them resemble triangles. Uh, you can see that, especially the ones on the sleeve, they are very like square in triangles. I like to do that a lot. Uh, I start with a very geometrical shape for the shadows and then I maybe uh, I soften them, soften them, them a little bit, but not always. Sometimes I keep it like that. You can see that I didn't use a lot of colors, I didn't use a lot of different tools. It was basically just a brush, a square brush, and then a lot of lasso too, and a soft brush as well. So you can see that simplifying the tools is a very good way of dealing with complex paintings. It's a very sped up painting. Uh, the, the overall process must have taken like one hour, uh, one one and a half hours probably, and this is like a seven minute video, so it's uh, way faster. <laughs> so uh, you can see that now I started to use a, a hard light layer using a hard light on my brush as well, so I can uh, increase the, the contrast on my shadows and make the form pop out more. It's very important that you don't use too much light and you focus a lot about uh, you focus a lot on having clear read on the shadow area and on the light area. I still have it them very separated. I squint a lot uh, so I can like look at the overall image and I don't zoom in too much. You can see that I, I barely zoomed in at this stage. Uh, and you can see that I'm trying to work on a few details right now, figuring out uh, some of the mistakes I've made at the drawing and correcting them, making softer edges at the bottom and at the corners and then working a little bit more, softening. Now you can see that I zoomed in now because I already have a good base for what I'm going to do, right? Uh, I would not zoom in if this wasn't like uh, the good stage to zoom in. I would wait so I could zoom in later. So as we're reaching the final stages of this painting, I wanted to conclude that it's very important that you really practice each part, each step individually. So try to learn composition, design, perspective, gesture, all the things, and then you start mixing them up and not doing the other way, just trying to do a painting with everything when you try to portray everything at once. And also when you learn more, you start to understand how you can simplify things. So you can see that the sleeve is very simplified. Everything's very simplified because I know how to do this leaf without adding mu too much information. I know how to simplify it. So I hope it helped. It was really fun talking to you. I see you guys around.